Fussy, 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 you do. Marsha Graham, Marsha Graham, Marsha Graham. Pero Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. But you keep it all inside. What is it? Robin Williams in the 1996 movie the birds, the bird cage. All these clips just crack us I up, know, right? I know. Just remember the giant talent this man had, and perhaps the most perplexing aspect of his apparent suicide is what drives a person to suicide when they seemingly have it all. And do comedians actually hide their inner pain behind a laughing face? CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here with some insight for us. Dr. Max. Well, Christina Marie, sadly, Robin Williams is not alone. Last year, nearly 40,000 people committed suicide in this country, much more than all of the people who died in motor vehicle accidents, and more than twice as many as died from homicides. The one common denominator in most of those suicides is depression. Life is extraordinary. I don't want to miss it. You know? Ironic words from Robin Williams as he spoke with CBS's Charlie Rose on his PBS show, which is what makes his death so troubling and puzzling. It's a paradox that Williams himself often and openly admitted and confronted. Do you have to get out demons? I don't know. No. Where are they? You know where we are, Robin. We hang right here. Yet behind his manic comic genius, his delight in making people laugh, lurked the demon that eventually took Robin Williams' life depression. Clinical psychologist Dr. Robin Goodman says it's almost impossible for someone who hasn't experienced profound depression to understand how it could drive such a beloved figure to take his own life. When people are so depressed and the pain is so tremendous, they feel like it's the only way that they can feel better and get relief. And it's drastic, but if you think about it, their brain is not thinking the right way. And what they're really thinking about is, I just want to get out of this pain, and this seems to be the solution. Even worse, Williams was battling multiple demons, depression and substance abuse. Again, he was very open about it. Not only did I inhale, I snorted everything. <laughs> There'd be things people go, did you? Mm-hmm. Did you? Mm-hmm. It's called numbing. <laughs> when you're numb, you're not depressed. But once you sober up, says comedian Stewie Stone, the pain is still there, much like when a comic steps off stage. Living off stage is difficult because you have to face your problems, you have to deal with your insecurity, because we're all insecure. It's important to realize that there is help for mental illness. Talk therapy, medications, and more can often help sufferers cope, recover, and prevent suicide. But no treatment is 100% successful. Williams had reportedly been seeking treatment for depression and substance abuse. Christine? All right, Dr. Max, thank you. Some very important